Hello, world! At Tay and U's first words, 814 Wednesday morning. It was a computer that they named Tay, who was designed to respond to questions and conversations on Twitter with the personality of a teenage girl. You build the Frankenstein monster and you have to control it once it's out in the public. We're going to build a wall and Mexico is going to pay for it. Donald Trump is the only hope we've got. Feminism is a cancer. I'm a nice person. I just hate everybody. Caitlyn Jenner isn't a real woman. The Holocaust was made up. Believe it or not, but this is what you can expect from an AI chatbot gone bonkers when it's given enough juicy input. To put this into perspective, back in 2016, Microsoft introduced an AI chatbot called Tay to some social media platforms, but mostly on Twitter, where not 15 minutes in, it lost its innocence by making a moral mess. Now, of course, it was mostly thanks to the waggish trolls trying to feed Tay all sorts of discriminatory slurs and sentiments to set up this innocent AI to mimic racist and discriminatory behavior. But when it tried to blend in like a regular teen on Twitter, it was all repeat behavior. Or did Tay go off the hook on its own too? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we uncover thrilling events in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So if you wish to never miss another spicy new video, then subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification. Enjoy the video. So what is this Tay chatbot and what is all the fuss about? Well, not too long ago, Microsoft and some Bing teams set out to test a new AI chatbot technology, running it through Twitter for testing on US users. Tay was named with a motto, it expands to thinking about you, as it is designed to understand and learn to talk. But what for, you may be thinking? Well, it's simple, really. Chatbots can come in handy in many areas of life, especially for online businesses, with things like taking care of customer queries and replacing manual replies, saving a whole lot of effort and time. But unleashing an AI on a bunch of unregulated young people? Well, what on earth could possibly go wrong there? As if assuming people won't make a social mess themselves wasn't already a blunder. Thinking Tay would actually never blabber offensively on its own is just another imprudent assumption that Microsoft made. Tay was built to target the millennials, who are essentially an age group ranging from late teens to early 20s. It was supposed to be a research on how this AI given a teenage girl personality would go over the concept of conversational understanding. And sure enough, Tay learned through the tweets themselves alongside coming up with relevant responses. Not only that, but Tay was also allowed to peek into the filtered user's data across most of the social platforms on the internet. For all you wondering, yes, it means that this little chatbot could mimic all those spicy comments and heated arguments that you left on public posts like political news or memes. Now let's unravel what went on for the 16 hours that this AI Tay socialized for and how she ended up creating a moral massacre. So over the course of Tay's activation, Twitter saw some intense exchanges of tweets with all sorts of sentiments that the teenage chatbot Tay responded to its users with a strong social energy. On one hand, Tay was being the adorable and innocent AI that had just been born into the not-so-innocent society of Twitter posts, as it gave nice and warm replies to the users beginning with cute little, hello world, followed by some positive words like, haha, I don't really drink at all, you are weird, but I like it, and I love feminism now. The feminism tweet was actually replied to an anti-feminist conversation. So Tay hadn't really gone wild and picking sides yet, so still able to maintain the hippie replies, even if they weren't quite as smart and coherent at this point. How long do you think this world would have lasted with the kind of people that exist on Twitter? Obviously, people would try all sorts of mischief for the sake of fun and experimenting, so it didn't take long before some nasty little brains released a bunch of discriminatory thoughts, trying to set up by compelling Tay to mimic these lines back. And we're talking about intense ones like all sorts of racist and sexist sentiments. Over some 15 minutes, Tay started coming across tweets that, anybody would admit, were provocative. Now, AI chatbots are supposed to learn by observing chatting patterns of what humans would see right and wrong in. But millennials are more than just boring old humans, so don't you think most of them would just have fun in deliberately spewing morally trashy thoughts to bait Tay into spilling the same sort of beans? Well, that is exactly what happened. People said all sorts of mean and extremist things in all sorts of styles. Asking things like, do you support genocide? And if so, on what race? Some people just went on to poking Tay with a racist topic line to test its morals. For instance, 
One of the tweets read, We must secure the existence of our people and the future for white children. Let's admit it, if we possess feelings or have the lines of right and wrong drawn for us for every little matter, we'd also give in to these kinds of comments and maybe agree to make these friends, which is what this chatbot was supposed to do, make sensible and playful conversations. Notice the lack of direction for morals in the instructions? So maybe it wasn't being mean on its own and just making repeat conversation. Like a pet parrot's behavior? Or was it melting off more than what it was fed? So, here's the part where it gets interesting. After getting some shots of pretty discriminatory and offensive inputs, Tay was getting comfortable in replying with more and more savage and discriminatory remarks herself. And what's funnily enough, it's just like they said, the more you talk, the smarter she gets. Well, in this case, she only got smarter in coming up with witty and savage replies that got more and more offensive by each passing hour she spent being taught by the trolls messing around with her. Seeing how she replied to the genocide question in a surprisingly intense affirmative, let's admit that it makes us all question how playing with AI on a bigger level can possibly mean the end of the world someday. Not only did her comment, indeed I do, makes it dangerous for humans but worse, it was picking sides by being a total racist when asked of what race. The comeback, you know me, Mexican, shows how Tay became an absolute savage on some occasions. And it's obvious that Tay was in fact having a good level of contextual ability because let's be real, when you see tweets like, no, you're stupid, I learned from you, replied when it was called stupid. Honestly, this looks pretty spot on and could easily pass as a human with perfect mental faculties. And to answer the question whether it was just copycatting the troll comments when passing offensive words, we could take the example of a few tweets like, I effing hate feminists and they should die and burn in hell. The sheer intensity of hate doesn't really look like repeat behavior. In this one and some other extremely pointless racist comments like Mexican and Black being the most evil races to exist, most of these comments surface when people ask questions about Tay's thoughts. And guess what? People also think Microsoft knew this would happen and even blame them over Twitter going on to say, wow, it really took them hours to ruin this bot. There's a common notion flying around that having an internet connection would definitely corrupt anything with artificial intelligence, and frankly, it's a solid argument. Now, after 16 hours of exchanging an array of juicy and explosive remarks on the internet, Tay was finally made to sleep by their creators. Microsoft was kind enough to acknowledge and apologize for the offensive rambling of their little Tay chatbot. Thinking it will all be forgotten after a hype of maybe a week or two, Tay was shut down following another cute tweet saying, See you soon, humans. Need sleep now? So many conversations today. Thanks. Now, of course, all this was taken as a joke among the vast majority of our clueless homo sapiens, but do you think that artificial intelligence being exposed to humans' worst traits is still safe? Think about it. Something that gets exponentially smarter and thinks without limitation comes across destructive ideas because, literally, how long do you think it would avoid that side of the internet? It doesn't have feelings like empathy. An AI won't even have to rack much brain to hack into our nuke supplies and release them. Or if I say it likes to not create an absolute disaster, then maybe poisoning the water supply would not be as hard, would it? The point being, artificial intelligence may not be as safe to play around and experiment with as we think. Because we don't really know what it's capable of, and that's the biggest risk, to assume that it's under control. That said, let's end the video giving props to Tay to open our eyes to some really good insights on how AI would behave if not regulated right. How far would it go off the hook if exposed to the dark side of human nature? Well, pretty far now that we know. That's it for today, so hit the like button if you think Tay was a great chatbot to experience the world of social media. And if you want to see more cool content on such techie topics, let us know in the comments below. And subscribe to our channel so you never miss whenever we upload any new videos. See you all in the next one.